So do you want to put the LED lights on the t So do you want to put the LED lights on your Tacoma and the ditch lights on your Tacoma, but you're like, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars or more because you can. And if you're like me, no, I'm going to show you the easy way to do it without spending a lot of money. So I got the up top overland roof rack and it was cut out for a 40 inch bar. And I looked at the rigid lights and I looked at the uh, hella lights, the KC lights. I did not want to spend upwards of six, seven, eight hundred dollars on this stuff, knowing that I would only use it a half a dozen times a year, maybe. I do like turning it on when I'm on the road and nobody else is on the road because it lights up everything. But do you really want to spend that type of money? I didn't. So what I did was I bought on Amazon the Full Wheel Drive King 40 inch LED light bar that cost a hundred dollars. Does it work? Yeah. Heck yeah, it works. It works great. And then I bought the Nylot ditch lot package, which is two ditch lots. I bought those for $32. So right now we're at 140 ish dollars just for the LED lights. It's a whole lot better than $1,000. I don't know if they work as good as the rigid. Don't know if they work as good as the Hella, but they work and they work fine for me. Probably work fine for you. And plus, if they go bad, I can buy another one a whole lot cheaper. Heck, I can buy about eight or nine more. A whole lot. I did run into a few little issues with this because I was hooking it up, trying to do everything myself. Um, I did, this came with a crazy European pin connector. So me and my brother-in-law cut it, soldered it together, and it goes right down the actual track of the window seal and it fits perfect. So I hooked that up and also soldered the wires for the ditch lights so they're on one switch. So when I turn these on, these come on. I bought the Nylot connector harness which comes with the fuse switch. It's a really simple switch because it connects with a 10 amp that is actually hooked up to your headlights. So I ran the fuse, uh, put the ground in and behind, all of this, the firewall is down there. So what I did was I run that, run the switch pin through the firewall, and then I had to take this piece off. I punched this out, and I just haven't got around to actually pushing this through and mounting it, but I did order the brackets for the nylots. So you have to take, I would suggest doing this slow and steady taking these bolts out, putting these in. Once you take these bolts out, your actual hood is off the track of this. So there's only one piece holding the hood. So I would suggest also laying a towel down just in case something was to fall. But overall, I've probably got maybe $220 in this whole setup. And it's very economical and it's very good for me. It works perfect for me. So if you're looking for a, a different option than going $800 for LED bar, $500 for ditch lights, this is the way to go. And actually it'd probably be more than that. So, but this is the way to go. It works perfect. I would suggest just making sure with whatever ditch lights you buy, whatever LED light bar you buy, that you do not go above the amp wattage rated for your, uh, your connecting source. So that's the only thing. So I will show this to you here in a second. I'll lit up and show you what it looks like. So if you have any concerns, comments, suggestions, anything that you would recommend that I do, or if you have any questions on what you ought to do, write down below in the comments. Like and subscribe as always. Have a good night. I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel?